Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm going to be unboxing the July, which is Roots Box, um, July 2021. So, many of you guys have reached out, just concerned about me because you haven't seen me in a while, and for that I say thank you. I love you so much. It's been, it's been wild. Um, I've gone through a lot. Um, doing a <laughs> grad school over the summer, um, while working as a nurse in a pandemic while trying to mom and trying to do all the things that I've done really really took it out of me and for the sake of my sanity I was not able to do unboxings and um, I'm gonna show you guys what this room looks like because I you guys know before my last witchy yard sale I tried really hard to get everything organized so that I can um, try to let some stuff go to other people and I had it looking pretty good and it's again a nightmare so um, I'll share that with you guys I'll probably go live really quickly after I'm done filming some of these boxes um, hopefully at least July so that I can be in the same month um, while while we're still in August because it's almost September with any rate which is Ruth's box it smells wonderful I want to say it's sandalwood but I think I've gotten a sandalwood one already let's see um, this is by far one of my favorite boxes, so let's look at the Wayfinder, so I don't read that till last. We've got a beautiful Veg Visor, the Veg Visor Sigil, or Stave, survives as remnant Icelandic folk magic. So I've seen this symbol places. That's very interesting. I've never known what it's called. Um, let me kind of center these things so you can see them in the frame. What do we got here? Plantain! So I recently got the Picture This app and I, because you guys know with the fire and with the seeding efforts, my seeding efforts, um, nature seeding efforts, and you know our local and state government's seeding efforts a lot of things have come up that I was not familiar with and plantain is one of them um, so very cool Let's check this out this looks like a ritual body oil because it's oh it's a spray it's a spray nice pretty it's got the vis visor on the front it's got a little spew it here a little sprayer here sorry it smell good. Smell good. Smell good. Mm-hmm. We got some plantain here. We've got a looks like a like a yellow candle, but let's look at this. Yellow candle. I'm trying to work my way through these, but you know, there'll probably be a whole bunch in the yard sale just because I cannot work through them as fast as I go. And with the spell work that I've been doing, I've been using a lot more chime candles as opposed to these, but I do use these as well. Here's a pendant with it on there. Very nice. It looks like we got a tiger's eye if I'm not mistaken, but let's open it up and see. Well, it might not be a tiger's eye, or maybe it is, I'm not sure. It looks like it because of the banding, but um, we'll just have to see what they say. And then we've got a little bag full of what appears to be mm, rosemary potpourri and like a, like a little room. It smells wonderful. I love it. I love those little potpourri bags. I keep every single one that I've ever gotten. Wayfinder. I love it. So when I get to unbox, I always get this wonderful feeling. It makes me so happy. Um, Upon the unknown path before us are challenges and tasks that we could not possibly predict. It is during these times and adventures that we rely upon our magical workings to guide and protect us along the way. Our sense of security comes from the trust and conviction we have in our practices, continually working with our guides to find our way and make the best decisions. For it is within these times of travel that we grip our knowledge and wisdom and make haste to our destination. In this very special and unique collection, we have compiled a variety of tools that may help protect and guide you on your path ahead. So, plantain, one of the nine sacred herbs of the Saxons. It's medicinally and magically important in physical and spiritual workings. Found in many cultures throughout the world, 
Um, it cures fevers, heals wounds, assists with digestive issues, draws out toxins, toxins for poisonous stings and bites. Um, if you're bitten and stung, you may crush the leaves into a paste and place them directly on the skin. If you're traveling, the wonderful plant may be a great addition to include within your itinerary. Makes a good tea, soothes the stomach, relieves digestive issues. Um, you can make a tincture. It's a traveler's plant, keeping the bear protected and free from trials and tribulations. The whole leaves of the plantain can be used to write wishes upon and thrown into the cauldron. Carry it within a sachet or bottle to keep your path clear of disruptions. Allow these magical and medicinal qualities to be your companion on your journey. The plantain artwork. The vis, the veg beezer. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, pendant with cord. Um, if this sign is carried, one will never lose one's way in storms or bad weather, even when the way is not known. This pewter charm has been created as a necklace for you to wear during times of travel, both physically and spiritually. Allow this staver sigil to act as a wayfinder for you on your path. Before you begin, place your intentions within this charm, reciting the words that have been placed on the back. Oh, the words placed on the back. May I never lose my way in storms or bad weather, even when the way is not known. Yes. Let me see. There we go. Very cool. And then the Book of Shadows artwork for that. Um, traveler sachet with a bind rune. Very nice. That's what this is. It's funny because I did a lot of traveling in August, and so all of these would have been perfect. They're always on point. Witch's Moon is always on point with what's going on with me. This would have been perfect for my travels. Although I will say I did a lot of working. I made my own things from, from a variety of different things that I might share with you guys in the future. And it worked out wonderfully too. So it all worked out in the wash. And plus I have to travel again in November for school. So I would love to have this. I would love to have this um, with me. Traveler Sachet and Vine Rune, we have created this very special sachet for you to carry with you on your journey so that you are protected and stay vigilant in the face of any danger that may arise. The herbs are Rosemary and St. John's Wort, a small wooden room with a Traveler's Vine Rune burned in the surface. It incorporates Raid Ho for a safe journey, Algies for protection, and Urus for strength, vitality, and determination. Then there's the spray. We are thrilled to be able to introduce the Wayfire Ritual Aura Spray with this special collection. Bringing together the energies of protection, strength, and vitality, potent spray should be used as a companion on your travels. It has rosemary, spearmint, peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, juniper, and their special mixture of their Veg Visitor magical oil from their personal cabinet. The Wayfinder Ritual Incense Sticks to enhance your intuition and recalibrate your inner compass. The Beacon of Guidance Mini Spell Candle, providing you with the guided light. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to ask your guides any relevant questions. As for guidance, direction, or simply a small sign to know you're on the right path. That's really cool. I will need to do that for my next Quantum Hypnosis session on Wednesday. Um, Tumble Tiger's Eye Stone. It's a true stolar stone of vitality. Um, Push your limits further, broaden your intuition, bring clarity to your thoughts. As you travel upon your path, allow this tiger thigh to be your companion. And this is what it looks like. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful unboxing for me to start with after I have been absent for so long. Love all the items, love the smell. As always, Witch's Moon is on point, um, both with what's going on in my life and also with just having something different every month after all these years they are wonderful um as always please like comment and subscribe um i'm gonna try to go live after i'm done filming it is a full moon and i still have to do my full moon work but i might do that in the morning i don't know um the point being that i am getting ready to do my second um quarterly witchy yard sale that's gonna be this weekend it should be wonderful. So I'm talking about August 28th, 29th, and 30th. Um, should be really good. The next one won't be till December. So I'm going to get as much of this um, in this room um, ready to go uh, for the yard sale. And uh, get it posted and ready to go. But anyways, 
Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.